In the recent years, the app ecosystem in the Indian market has been overtaken by Chinese apps. Many experts have claimed that Chinese apps collect user data and even some personal information. There have been many instances where user data are sent to Chinese server. So here are some best alternatives to popular Chinese apps that have flooded the Indian market. So let's get started. UZ browser owned by Alibaba Group of China is the second most popular web browser across India. But it has had many security and privacy controversies in the past years. They have been caught for downloading and installing extra modules from the company's own server. This violates Google Play policies that forbid Google Play apps from downloading any executable code. So if you want to browse the internet without anyone monitoring your internet activity, then you should move to a secure web browser. The Brave Privacy Browser is all about blocking ads and other online trackers while delivering lightning quick web browsing. You can also go for Firefox or Opera for faster and more reliable experience. The second one on the list is Share It and Xcenter. They are the two most popular apps for file transfer in India. But Share It now has become a content sharing platform which contains many inappropriate content on its app. And I would really not recommend it. Share It was also found with two security vulnerabilities last year. Similarly, Xcenter has been bloated with too many extra features and with constant add and pop-ups which makes the experience even worse. The best alternative app is Files by Google. It can seamlessly send and receive files without any ad or content notification. Files by Google is quite fast and go up to 150 Mbps while transferring files. Surely check this one out. Cam Scanner is a popular document scanner app and it is run by Instig, a Chinese company based in Shanghai. Last year it was removed from the Play Store after Kaspersky found a Trojan horse module inside the Cam Scanner app. So if you want to stay away from such malicious apps, then you can move to more secure and a better alternative like Adobe Scan. This app clicks photos without even pressing the shutter button. It automatically scans the document. Unlike Cam Scanner, it has a way better user experience and it does not even watermark the pages. AppLock is another popular Chinese app for locking apps. It is run by Do Mobile and registered in Hong Kong outside of mainland China. This app is too invasive for an app locker, which keep tracks of all your photos and videos and at the same time have access to the camera and microphone. A secure app is not an app lock, which has been developed by popular antivirus provider Norton Labs based of US. Similar to app lock, you can set a pin, password or fingerprint to lock your apps. However, the best part about it is that unlike app lock, it has an ad free and offers a way clean experience. Turbo VPN is a China based VPN provider which is free of course. It doesn't require any subscription and it also has no data limit. That is the reason why it is very popular in India. But the privacy policy of Turbo VPN is very sketchy and I would really not trust it. So if you want an alternative to this Chinese app, then I would recommend Proton VPN. It is a free VPN without any data limit and offers a good selection of VPN servers around the world, where there is some restriction in data speed. As the company is headquartered in Switzerland, you are protected by EU's strong privacy laws. Also, Proton VPN recently open sourced its VPN tool, which makes it even more trusted VPNs out there. Check this one out. WPS Office is an office suit developed by Chinese software developer Kingsoft. This office suit contains WPS Writer, Presentation, Spreadsheet, and PDF Reader. There have been no security concerns linked with WPS Office, but you should not forget the fact that it is based in China, where every user data is closely monitored. Due to this reason only, I would suggest you to use Microsoft's Office app, which has all the basic utilities in one app. But if you are ready to download multiple apps for this purpose, 
I would really suggest you to take a look at Google Slides, Docs and Sheet. It has a multi-device capability which I really like and it is my personal favorite. So that's the video guys. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel and do let me know other alternatives to popular Chinese app in the comments below. And I will catch you in the next one.